Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from the theaters after seeing War for the Planet of the Apes. This is a 2017 film that was directed by Matt Reeves, the same director who did Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. The plot of this movie is we see Caesar. It pretty much picks up right where the last movie left off, where Caesar is still trying to protect his family, his apes, his community of apes that are just out there trying to survive, trying to live. They want peace. They don't want war. But humans, especially these soldiers being led by Woody Harrelson, they want to protect their species with all costs. And so they take the war head on with these apes and you see these two great big forces clashing together. Now what I thought of war for the planet of the apes was I fucking love this movie. I did. I loved it beyond belief. As much as I was looking forward to this movie, as much as I enjoyed and loved those first two, Rise and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and just how much I couldn't believe how successfully Fox has rebooted this franchise to make, should I say, better than the original series. In my opinion, this movie blew me away. And you have Matt Reeves who, yeah, he did the last movie. He's also scheduled to do the, the next solo Batman movie. So this guy has a lot on his plate, but he puts so much care, so much effort, developing the story, conceding the story, presenting what he gave us on screen, everything with Caesar. Caesar is a character that when you stop and think about the fact that he's not real, I mean, most movie characters, we know they're not real. We know that they're just written for the page and presented on screen and all this stuff. But it's usually almost always an actor, a real physical actor playing them. And sure, Andy Serkis is in there doing the motion capture. But this is a CGI created character. Not real whatsoever. And I cannot believe, I cannot believe how much I care about this one character. I can't believe how much I feel like I've seen this character grow and mature and just come to a point where you do buy him as a leader. For Andy Serkis, it will be a crime. It will be a damn shame if he does not get an Oscar. Or at the very, very least nominated for an Oscar. And I know that's unprecedented because, again, it's motion capture. It's it, But he's still doing the physical performance. He's still doing the facial expressions. He's still giving you what you get from Caesar. Woody Harrelson as essentially the villain. He's the colonel of the soldiers. And at first, you see him and it seems like he's going to be your typical just evil dude, evil human who's doing these heinous and, and vicious things. And that's true. He is doing these things. Uh, but Woody Harrelson, he's, he's the type of actor who can go from doing comedies, go from being this, this goofy guy that's lovable or likable to then doing this where you do almost hate him or fear him. And, uh, but then there comes a point in the film where they do present some 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 context they do present a backstory not to where you completely turn around and take his side or sympathize with him but you at least understand him get the other apes that we've been following not just caesar but the ape maurice who's his trusted friend even koba who i know some people are going to say wait didn't koba die in the last movie yes but his presence is still very felt and almost regret with Caesar. Steve Zahn, or Zane, plays this ape that it's hard to describe exactly the type of ape that he is, but let's just say he's very funny, very comical, and, and just, I, I loved him. I loved his character. I loved every time he was on screen. You could say it's an Easter egg to the original uh, Planet of the Apes from the 60s, where there was a character, a female character, who didn't speak. And, and she was just a part of that world where they have this little girl who you see in the trailer, you see her with the apes, and she does not talk either. 
And I love not only how they meet up with her, how they explain why she doesn't talk, but also her connection to the apes and how they've developed this backstory and really made her character aptly named Nova. They gave her a lot more uh, of importance than I ever, ever thought of her from any of the other movies. Even though the movie was two and a half hours long, the film was so good. The story was so good that you just get wrapped up into it and there's a part of you that just doesn't even want it to end. This is, if not the, it's one of the greatest trilogies that I personally have, have ever experienced. Just watching each movie come out and progressively get better and better. I'm giving this film a better than sex. People who complained about how much last year sucked for summer movies, whether I agree or disagree, this year is definitely a lot better. It's definitely stepped up when it comes to quality of these blockbuster movies. I loved War for the Planet of the Apes. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you plan on seeing the movie, if you've seen it already, what do you think of it? Do you like the past movies, the original movie? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! <laughs>